So someone could be in a energy of panic, not wanting to be vulnerable because of their insecurities that are now being shown because of their lies. This is someone who knows they are guilty, guilty of lies, being stubborn, all because of not wanting to seem responsible for something when it comes to mind games, hmm. gaslighting you. So it seems someone knows that they're being exposed for the lies they have told about you and other various things. I feel something that you have d done or said was very outspoken or on point. I feel this could even be your silence. Please take it how it resonates with you. But I feel it was something that was unexpected that is attached to you that someone didn't foresee that is now causing them to have some type of panic attack. Hmm. Someone is definitely uncertain about the future. The fact that you are moving up, blowing up, or getting through something. Someone is envious of something, paranoid about something. So it seems someone could be paranoid about the secrets or even the lies they have told. Hmm. As they could be envious or paranoid about you knowing or seeing the truth. Being tired of someone being two-faced. I feel someone could be in crisis so it seems someone could be paranoid about you moving on or doing better without them I feel this is someone who could be paranoid about the secrets or the lies they have told because they're still being stubborn with you when they don't have to be this is someone who knows they are guilty knows they are guilty of being selfish creating some type of chaos or confusion Someone is in a space where they're regretting the fact that you are now focused on you. For many of you, this is the new you. Especially when it comes to someone you gave a chance to. Someone who has proven to you they're going to disappoint you at every turn. Someone could be in a, in a phase or in a mess because you're not being gullible. Someone is now feeling like a loser because they didn't apologize or speak the truth. For many of you, someone feels like you're focused on the, the new you, rags to riches energy. For many of you, I feel you could be stepping into a bigger, a better blessing. For many of you, the, their biggest regret is you walking away or you not paying attention to someone's games or even the fact that someone is just stubborn. Yeah, they sense without you, someone was bound to fail. Let's get some more energy here, Holy Spirit. What are the messages? Messages here for the collective. Hmm. So I feel like someone is coming out as a professional ghoster. Someone who was feeling scarce, not really seeking the right things. Someone is also coming out as a career criminal. Someone who has been doing this for a long time. There is also groupy energy here. Where someone was pushing some type of narrative about you. This is people pleasing energy of someone who is distorted. I feel like this is someone who is distorted because of their lies. And the fact that they have tried to betray you in a way where they were attacking your character. Or trying to assassinate you in some way. This energy is coming out as risky business. Someone who could be talking about you because they can't get next to you. But I feel many of you have chosen to focus on self because they always seem to let you down or they always seem to be self-centered, choosing self or demoralizing you. This is connected to the betrayal, someone trying to assassinate your character through lies. This is someone who is coming out as stubborn and distorted. But I feel something you have done when it comes to someone who is guilty is definitely on target. This energy is coming out as jealous, and for some of you, this energy could be pinching pennies or holding a grudge. But I feel whatever they're doing, they're definitely lighting a fire. Someone is coming out as risky business. Someone many of you feel you cannot trust. This energy is always in and out of your life or always in a space where they feel something is old to them. This is someone you have chosen to break free of. Many of you have chosen to turn your back or had to turn your back when it comes to someone who is always lighting a fire in your life. Many of you could be moving in silence with no regrets. And this is causing someone to be more miserable because you have a loss of interest. 
So it seems you breaking free or having a loss of interest has caused someone to be stressed. This is someone who has mental issues that are connected and not connected to you. Please take it how it resonates. But this is someone who is upset because they couldn't finesse a situation now that they want to return or even circle back to you. Someone has come up with some type of narrative or story pretending you're being weird when in fact someone just might need some professional help. This is someone who is being fake, coming out as someone who can't be trusted or clearly bipolar. Because with them, you never know what you're going to get. And many of you are just tired of choosing to be the bigger person. Hmm. This is someone who has created a lot of highs and lows. Toxic relationships, but I feel what goes around comes around when it comes to someone's lies or pathological energy someone has been given back to the streets but i feel their envy or you growing up or you just being tired has caused someone to realize the difference between love and hate so it seems someone is realizing the difference between love and hate when it comes to being two-faced or even going through this crisis due to their secrets <sighs> Because now they're paranoid when it comes to a connection that fell through or even the lies they told about you. Because now they're being a little OCD about hating on you. Or even being a false energy. Because you're growing up or excelling or moving on. Despite someone playing games or thinking you would be gullible. Someone knows that you are the missing piece. Someone also knows what goes around, comes around, and if they're trying to be in a space where they don't see it or acknowledge it, it's just going to be even harder when it hits. Because definitely, someone is about to experience a side of karma that most never survive. This energy is coming out as a swindler, someone who is always taking and never giving but wanting to circle back, but stressed out. Hmm. Because they feel like you won't believe, you won't invest in the things they do or say because they have lied to you before. This is why they're coming out as risky business. Someone who has betrayed you in so many ways. This energy is coming out as someone who has tried to assassinate this relationship so many times, but also playing the victim. Let's see if one more card here for mistake. Holy Spirit. Wow. Yeah, someone is definitely having a, a sense of not knowing what to think about you, this energy is almost feeling like they're losing their mind or even losing their grip on reality. I feel like for many of you, this is someone who has lost their mind in a situation that was simple, but I feel things were blown out of proportion and someone has believed their lies to the extent where they are now realizing no matter what they believe, no one's believing their lies, not even them. Wow, this is someone who really thought they could finesse a situation here. Now they could be stressed out because you have lost interest. For many of you, they wanted you to be false or distorted just like them. Wanting to blame you for this toxic relationship. But now that you have broken free, someone is about 10 minutes from connecting or trying to contact you. But I feel if they do, they still won't be admitting their true feelings. This is someone who is acting like a stranger, but they're in bad company, and this is why they're living in some type of fantasy, some type of illusion, even though they would rather be next to you. I feel this is someone who is coming out as a bit touchy about their feelings, but also being petty because they can't admit what they truly feel. For many of you, this is someone who is acting like a stranger, pretending because they don't want to seem like they're too weak or not vain. Mm. But this energy is also pretending because they're in bad company and living a false life. This false life, this bad company is also attached to their mental issues. This is why they're losing their grip on reality and even almost pretending they don't know you at all. But I feel someone can't pretend anymore because of their big headed ways or even pretending they don't see a truth has now become a heavy weight for them. Too much to carry. But I feel even though it's too, too much to carry, or the fact that they know they are dead weight, someone is still sticking to the script. 
even though they know they are wasting resources or still unawakened. Hmm. Acting fake for clout, someone needs to upgrade their energy, upgrade those around them, but this energy is still sitting in a space where they could be the problem. Hmm. This is someone who has some twisted beliefs, and this is why they're hiding behind this mask. This is someone who is also filtering the gossip, filtering the chaos, and this is where the petty energy of someone sabotaging everything comes from. I feel this energy is feeling content with hiding their feelings because they're not ready to deal with what they're not ready to heal. I feel this is someone who has some twisted beliefs and needing to upgrade their surroundings to see the truth because they're going nowhere with, with the thinking and feeling and being fake, just going with the flow. Someone is having some type of complex, believing that they have a past or have some type of position to keep these secrets or act like trash. Hmm. I feel like this energy is also in a Munchausen syndrome where they're faking sympathy or needing or wanting sympathy, but they know what they have done is unforgivable. This is someone who has some twisted beliefs because they feel they have a position and right to do it. To treat others like trash. This energy is faking the funk, acting fake for clout. Please take it how it resonates. But this is someone who is using others to get a rise out of you. I feel this is someone who knows what they're doing is dead weight or the wrong way. This is someone who is playing games and pretending not to see a truth. All because of their own wicked ways, big-headed ways. This is someone who thinks they know everything. And this is why they're sticking to the script. This energy is coming out as unawakened because of their twisted beliefs of being petty. And filtering the chaos, pretending like something isn't what it clearly is. But it's also causing their mental state to get worse. Hmm. For many of you, you thought this energy was losing their mind, but I feel here lately, it's clearly a fact. As this energy is descending in many ways, but still pretending like everything is still the same. This is someone who has been real petty with you because they've been living this life for a very long time. I feel this energy has a lot of mental issues that they fail to realize or even talk about. So even if you bring it up, this energy will pretend something isn't there. These mental issues is coming out twice here. And this is why someone is losing it, betraying you, trying to assassinate your character because they know something is being exposed about them. Hmm. For many of you, I feel like this is someone who clearly doesn't know what to do or even feel about you now that your outlook or even your mindset has changed about them. Because despite what they said or even thought about you, something remains to be true. Hmm. And I feel someone won't be getting that rise out of him. I feel this is someone who is very condescending, condescending when it comes to the truth, what they've done behind your back. But it's also the very reason they are stressed out. I feel this is someone who is also losing when it comes to what was being gained. I feel this is someone who made a deal with the devil or definitely didn't carry their position in the right way and they're going to get a lot of karma or a lot of debt that needs to be paid. There are unhealthy boundaries here when it comes to someone who is low-key hating on you, but I feel the fact that they are living in a fantasy is the true reason they are stressed out. I feel like this is someone who is blaming you for many reasons, but I feel this energy is getting more reckless because they know something is being exposed. Hmm. I feel something is being exposed for who they truly are and even their true way of being because when it comes to how far they're willing to go, someone is willing to go too far. Hmm. And now I feel something is being exposed about their mental issues or some type of war or competition, some type of mess they started. I feel like this is someone who has some type of superiority complex where they have done a lot of things unapologetically. No reason, no rhyme or reason. This is someone who easily misjudged you because of their tunnel vision. 
I feel like this is someone who is used to the power or wanting to have the power of this energy, wanting to shame or embarrass you. As I said before, this is someone who is blaming and shaming for no reason. But I feel someone is about to be exposed for that. For many of you, these are energies under judgment at this time. Those who have been vindictive or petty with you are now going through karma. This is cause and effect where something is moving slowly throughout their life. For many of you, they're sitting right in their misery and they don't even know that they're only making things worse. This is where the stress is coming from. Someone is hating on you because someone is truly feeling the hate that is given. Someone has been very boastful about the things they have done. I feel someone could be feeling powerful for their vindictive ways, but this energy is coming out as a class act when it comes to their unapologetic ways of sabotaging and creating chaos. This is someone who loves to create the energy of humi humiliating others because they don't like the pressure of feeling the, the energy of defeat. They demote and try to make others feel less than when they are clearly struggling with their own self-worth or even their own ambition. This is why someone is always sitting in the energy of embellishing the stories and storing shade at you. Because it seems they're on a mission to bind or tie you to their trauma. Someone is wanting to trauma bond with you. Someone is wanting to keep you stuck, bound. Wanting you to feel some type of way about rejecting or turning your back on them. This is someone who has clearly lost their mind. Because they're a class act, sabotaging everything, embellishing the truth, and even talking behind your back because they get off on it. They're getting off on it, or those they're talking to is getting off on it, but they definitely have an audience blending in, pretending to be helpful, but I feel something is also a ticking time bomb. Something is a ticking time bomb when it comes to someone's hate or someone's need to create chaos. This energy is definitely in a mood, even throwing some type of tenter, temper tantrum, but I feel something is fishy when it comes to someone who is on the edge or skating on thin ice. Someone is in the energy of wanting to distort how others feel about you. This is why something is a ticking time bomb when it comes to someone who should have been helpful, but this energy is both boastful. I almost feel like if this energy does anything for you, they're going to tell everybody about it, no matter how small or little it is. But when you do something helpful for them, they say nothing about it. In fact, this energy just might take the credit for it. But if it was the other way around and you needed them, this energy would even wouldn't be as helpful or they would make you feel bad for even asking. Mm. This is why someone's talking behind your back, because the little that they have done for you, they make it seem like it was the the only reason you got through. They get off on it. They feel powerful because of you, but I feel in so many ways, they misjudged you. Someone misjudged you when they thought you was gullible enough to bite the apple. I feel you may have had love for this energy and so much more, but I feel they are the reason and the cause for the change in that. Let's get some more energy here, Holy Spirit. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's jump right into the energy here, Holy Spirit. This is someone who is not on the spiritual path. Access is denied when it comes to this energy. And even when it comes to the spiritual realm, this energy is coming out as a succubus, someone who could be possessed in some type of way, yet this energy is not coming from their higher self. I feel the fact that this energy is not on their best, best path is the reason why they are wanting to be attached to you. You're coming out as a chosen energy, but I feel to be chosen, you have to do the work. And I feel because of that, nothing you have been through will ever be in vain. For many of you, this energy is coming out as someone who is harvesting the energy of the brightest stars, the brightest lights. Hmm. This is why someone is not on their spiritual path. Hmm. 
sabotaging everything by being a hater. Hmm. This energy is coming out as someone who loves to have the control. This energy is coming out as a narcissist or someone who has bad intentions, someone who has a blocked third eye. So this blocked third eye energy is bad karma. Someone is being cursed when it comes to their bloodline. I feel this is someone who is fated themselves to misery, a spiritual battle because they are descending spiritually, causing them to go through a lot here. There's a lot of sacrifice and loss when it comes to their material gain or what they thought would never fade away. I feel this is someone who could be going through spiritual poverty because their past is now resurfacing because they are coming out as a false prophet, a liar a deceiver, someone who is breaking every spiritual law now that they have distorted themselves and even others that follow them. I feel this is someone who caused others to sell their soul or become less of who they need to be, but I feel someone's about to experience some karma that, like I said, most do not survive. This is an outer body, outer body experience where someone is experiencing a glitch this is a spiritual or psychological warfare where this energy is not protected and they're going to fully regret that. Mm. As I said before, this is someone who is in a space where they're being judged for all they have done in the past. Mm. This is someone who's being judged for all the underhanded things they have done to you and even others. Yet I sense what they have done in regards to money or material things of life will soon be their biggest regret because it will be the beginning to their end as i said before this energy is coming out as distorted because they have broken every spiritual law here and this is what's causing the psychological and spiritual warfare because all of their karma from this life as well as their past lives are now resurfacing. This is someone who's going through spiritual battles because of their bad intentions, bad karma of being a narcissist, harvesting energy of others. This is someone who is going through a lot of bad karma for losing their way. Not just losing their way, but never trying to find their way because they have experienced some hollow victories. This energy thought they were winning when in fact, they were bound to lose because what's coming their way is nothing but sacrifice. Sacrifice that they never thought would come their way because the fact that they have many losses ahead of them and has also been denied access hmm, is only because they are now reaping what they have sown and their consequences are faded. The consequences are fated to come their way when it comes to someone who is always shifting. Shifting and shaping their energy because now that the universe has put a stop to something, someone is now experiencing some pressure. Pressure from reaping what they have sown when it comes to many things that they thought they had gained because in so many ways they are under pressure. So it seems someone is under pressure because spirits are monitoring the guilty, the karmic family members, the spiritual bullies. These are energies who are about to realize that you are divinely protected. I feel those who are covering your blessings are about to realize that you are protected in a way that they can't penetrate or even take your blessings. I feel you cutting the cord from a spiritual hitman or a karmic soul ties are going to cause someone to receive the judgment that they deserve because despite what they have said or even seen, you're leveling up. This is, a, this is an energetic upgrade. This doesn't have to be materialistic, but I do see you moving and different spaces. Hmm. This is abundance in every way. Hmm. So it seems like you leveling up breaks someone's tie to you. 
because whatever they thought was coming your way has now been returned to sender. Especially when it comes to legacy. I feel someone is now going through a dark night of the soul when it comes to an earth angel. This is someone who still has dark attachments, but I feel the fact that you are ascending, coming out as a high priestess energy, a fallen angel is now creating or receiving justice from their karmic debt. Because this is someone who is already struggling with the turns to what they know they've done. Someone knows they are struggling with what they have done or what they're still doing. Because in so many ways, I regret to inform you, they still haven't changed. This is someone who doesn't even realize they're going through a spiritual battle. But I feel there are some spiritual ties, some karmic family members, or whoever that knows they are truly guilty. They're going through sacrifice and karma, not realizing, being a shapeshifter, reaping what they saw was bound to happen. We're going to get a final deck out here. Of course, if you guys enjoyed this reading, let me know by commenting down below or letting me know you like this video. So, let's get a final read here, Holy Spirit. Final read. Shadow work. So it seems like this energy really doesn't want to do the healing. Mm. And this is why someone could be giving you the evil eye because they've been denied access to you. I mean, if you, you're not doing anything, but I feel it's your ancestors applying pressure when it comes to someone who no longer has access or even has the tools to truly understand you. This energy is coming out as someone who is trying to manipulate things. And they're also coming out as someone who, with a hardened heart. I feel like there's a lack of closure here because this energy is silent. Silent due to mindless direction. But I feel it's all because of karmic ties and the fact that they're not wanting to deal with the shame and the guilt. But it's only making them more empty inside. As to what they're avoiding will be their final destination when it comes to them losing self. Because whatever they're avoiding is faded. Faded when it comes to someone who is being false, phony, and fake. Someone who is emotionally guarded but also gifted. Someone stabbed you in the back because of their own anger, rage, resentment, and misery. This is someone who has fear when it comes to love. And this is why they're avoiding or running away from the naked truth. Someone is not wanting to deal with the chaos. But they're still daydreaming about a change of heart. But the lies, the trickery, the damage, the deception is the reason they're still being two-faced. But I feel it's also the reason things will crumble or fall because it will soon become their biggest mistake. I feel like this is someone who will realize something being their biggest mistake because after giving up what they had with you, someone was bound to step into a space of disaster. A hardened heart only got harder through the m manipulation and the fact that they didn't want to give in to the shame or the guilt, but I feel it will be their biggest mistake trying to escape reality, having no remorse, having no sorrow, but it will only bring them to a space of night terrors. Wow. This is someone who will soon become a train wreck, all because of their reckless behaviors or reckless ways. But I feel the fact that you will be cutting the cord or detaching as well, giving into self, will also put this person in a space where they never see something the same. I feel heartbreak is attached to you, but you're not only heartbroken, so are they. Something will never be the same. And they know it. Final card here, Holy Spirit. Yeah, because of their fear of love, someone may lose you, or someone may have already lost you. As I said before, someone is already struggling with the true terms of what has been done, what they're truly dealing with, but I feel this energy is under pressure when it comes to sacrifice. As your ancestors are, are truly putting a hold on someone, and I feel their karmic ties or people that are connected to them 
are also driving them crazy. Someone feels like they are losing their mind. They're coming out as distorted again in this reading. Someone is coming out as distorted because of the naked truth. They can't expose them, themselves. Someone is not going through a rebirth because of their doubt. I feel someone is very selfish. And this is why someone is going through the spiritual and psychological warfare. I feel someone has lost themselves already. Because they chose not to have any real regret for their secrets or even their lies. There's a lot of broken promises, and this is why someone is moving in silence, suffering in silence as well, because they're overthinking something while you're refocusing and gaining a sense of clarity where there is no truth. I feel this is someone who is still psyching themselves out when it comes to communication because they are coming out as mentally and physically exhausted. For some of you, someone is not feeling so great, and that could be their mental mindset, but someone is actually sick needing to seek some type of help. This could be mentally or physically, but someone is in need of assistance from a real doctor. Wow. And this is why someone is suffering in silence and not wanting to communicate their real regrets because you're already refocusing your life, refocusing your energy, and someone doesn't want you to know that they're dealing with this karma. And someone doesn't want you to know you were right. They're living a lie. Someone is living a lie by losing themselves or even a third party or even just being in denial about the truth. Because the one thing they were running from is now tearing them apart. Because due to them living a lie, things are collapsing. There's a downfall where someone is lost. Lost their soul because of insecurities and wearing a false mask. Because it's all becoming a heavy load. Someone is depressed, feeling like their mindset is now beyond something. They can't get their mental oh, in check. Wow. There's a lot of depression because someone is emotionally and mentally drained. This energy is an emotional, nervous wreck. I feel this is someone who has more sleepless nights than they would rather admit. But I feel it's all because you made a, you made a head of a heart decision. When it comes to something that was already falling apart. I feel you have to make a head over heart decision when it comes to someone's betrayals. Because they made something more complicated than it needs to be. Someone is wanting to make a change of heart or wanting you to have a change of heart. But I feel someone is now bound to their own nightmare. I feel someone is now bound to their own nightmare, their own chaos, their own anger issues. Someone who stabbed you in the back is now wanting you to have a change of heart because they don't want to deal with their karmic ties, their lies that have now gotten out of control or simply a mess because someone can't find themselves in this misery. Someone cannot find themselves when it comes to all of this chaos. Because not only did these lies and deception now catch up to them, things that are being exposed is a direct consequence of their karma and even their actions of being fake and two-faced. Because they are the ones who created these trust issues, being addicted to the things that are making them weak or making them more complicated. Because now they are bound or even stuck to a cycle of mistakes and losses because someone's going to have to live their life knowing they should have loved you and given you respect yet I feel this energy somehow thought if no one sees or no one knew the truth then it really wasn't real I feel as long as they had co-signers or people in their corner when it comes to their mess this energy was never going to feel like they were a failure but I feel Many things have changed over the years, and someone was never truly prepared to deal with their mess. Because now that something is being exposed, there is nothing they can do or say. Hmm. I feel like there is nothing they can do or say to convince you otherwise when it comes to their lies, their secrets, or even the fact that they are living a lie. I feel the only way out for many of you is honesty and truth. 
Yet I sense many of you the truth, or any variation of it, still, it still won't be enough. As some things that continue to be unhealed just might be set in stone. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading.